here we need to create a google analytic account if here we are creating a property you can either create new property while creating the account hello everyone in this video we will see how to set up google analytics integration with salesforce experience site there are mainly four steps first step is create a google analytics account after that we need to create a property in the google analytics accounts and after creating a property we need to set up a data stream and get the measurement id and at the last we use this measurement id in our experience site once these steps are completed our google analytics will start tracking our experience site now let's open our google analytics here we need to create a google analytic account if you already have an existing account you can use that extend here first you need to go admin and after that you need to click on account here you can enter account name we are entering experience site and move to the next step here we are creating a property a property is the core container in google analytics where data from a website or app is collected and analyzed each property is tied to one website app or data stream you can either create new property while creating the account or add a new property to an existing account we will see that later on here we will create a property enter the property name and move to the next step here you have to add the business detail and next step here you can choose the business objective and accept that one now it's the last step it's a creating a data stream we can create it later on right now we can skip for now now click on the continue to home here you can see that your new account is created experience site and the property which we created experience site property is also created if you want to create a property in an existing account go to the admin here you can create a property in the existing account move to the back now we need to create a data stream in our property a data stream is a source of data example a website that sends information to our google analytic property once the web stream is created we will get our measurement id so let's set up our data stream go to the data collection click on data stream option here we need to choose a platform in our case it's experience site so we will choose a web option here we need to pass pass our website url here you can pass stream name any name you can and click create and continue after clicking create and continue you will get the measurement id close that here you will get a measurement id this measurement id we will use in our experience site we will copy that one and now move to the builder of our experience site so go to the setting and move to the advanced here you can notice that it, this input field is disabled here we need to enter our measurement id so to enable this field first we need to change security and policy go to the security and policy here we need to change cs csp content security policy from cs strict csp to relaxed csp it will allow third party scripts to run on our site in our case google analytics is the third party script now move to the advanced and you can see that this field is enabled now and you can paste your google measurement google analytics measurement id it will automatically add google analytics to the list of your trusted url if you move to the trusted url and set up here you can see that google analytics url is automatically added in the salesforce setup to one now here we need to publish our site so click on the publish i already published this site so right now they are showing that there are no changes for you to publish let's open our site this is our site and when we go to the inspect and search on g tag and here you can see that the script is automatically added in our document and this is a measurement id so this script is automatically added in all the pages of our experience site so now now your experience site is successfully integrated with the, our google analytics and tracking has started now let's open our google analytics to view data here you need to click a reports and real time overview after integration now google analytics begin tracking data automatically the full tracking metrics is active users real time page views event count by event name it automatically collected events like a page view when a user view a page session start first visit when a user visit the site for the first time and it will also enhance measurement events like a scroll click file download in the next video we will see how to capture custom events in google analytics from our site along with the parameter value that's all in this video thank you